In our last video we worked on getting some different body armor slots and in this video I'm going to be working on getting a hotbar. So to start off we're going to go ahead and create five more slots and make sure they're above both of those and we'll drag it down yeah right there's about right and we're gonna take it outside of the background image and just to make it a little neater I'm gonna create an object and call it hotbar slots and I'm just gonna drag all these slots into here okay now we're gonna go to the player and we're gonna add these slots to the inventory so over here you see that we don't have the slots so let's go ahead and add it and now we got the different slots okay now that the slots are added to that we're gonna go ahead and create a new script for these and we're gonna call it hotbar slots now we're gonna need void update and void start so you could probably just leave them there and the way we're gonna do this is much like the equipment slots so it's only gonna be around this long and I'll explain that after we do it so to start off we're gonna go public game object and we're gonna make this an array and we'll call this unstatic items and then we're going to create another public game object array and we'll call this items now we're gonna go inside of the start function and we're gonna type if unstatic items dot length is greater than zero then we're gonna do items is equal to unstatic items and now we're gonna go right below the items array and we're gonna go public key code key and now down below in the update we're gonna go if input dot get key down key then we're gonna call a function called equip now below update we're gonna create a new function called equip now in order to equip an item we need to first check if there even is an item so the way we're gonna do this is by going if transform dot child count is greater than one and this is checking if the slot currently holds an item and if it does then it goes past this and with this right here now we know that there's an item so we can go ahead and do item i or let's do item item is equal to transform dot get child one dot get component item and now if you remember last video we added this thing called equipment type and much like the equipment slots we're gonna check if item dot equipment type or I think it's equipment type yeah is equal to hand and basically much like there's different equipment slots like body head legs pants we're gonna add a new one called hand so if it is a hand then we can go for int i is equal to zero i is less than items dot length i plus plus and we're gonna do exactly what we did with the equipment slot so we're gonna loop through each item and once the ID matches with the item we're trying to activate we're gonna either activate or deactivate it we're gonna go if I is equal to item dot equipment index then we're gonna do a bull toggle we're gonna go item I dot set active items i dot active in hierarchy and then we're going to go else items i dot set active false 
Oh, one last thing you need to change is you want to go up here and make this static. Also, now that that's static, you want to go down here and I forgot to put a not symbol right there. And for this video, that's actually all we need to do. So now we're going to go set it up in Unity. Now for every single one of these slots, you're going to notice that there's a key and two arrays. And let's just start off by setting the keys. So for slot 20, which is this very left slot, I want this to be equivalent to hitting one on the numpad. So we're going to go down to alpha and we're going to select alpha one and we're going to do this for each of the slots. Okay, so you're going to notice on the hotbar slot that there's an array called unstatic items. Basically for every item that the player can hold, you want to drag it into here and I'll give you an example. So on the player, I'm going to just go ahead and create a sword using a cube. It's going to be 0.1 width. It's just 0 0.25 and it's going to be tall and I'm just going to drag it over here to the left. And this is going to be a sword that the player can have. I'm going to set inactive and call it sword. And similarly, I'm going to create another sword, but this time it's going to be on the left and it'll be very noticeable. It'll be flying. And this way you can tell that this is sword number two. Okay, so now in one of these slots, you're going to want to go to the unstatic items, set whatever size, and drag these sword objects into here. Okay, now if you remember, there was these fields right here that represent different slots that they can go into. I'm just going to go ahead and take the ones from the last video and the one that went on the body, I'm going to give it the hand tag and then it'll be an equipment index of zero. And then similarly, I'm going to do hand for this and I'm going to give it an item index of one. So when you pick up item two, so this one right here, since it has the equipment type of hand, you'll be able to equip it into your hand. And then when you do that, it'll use the index of one. So it'll access the hotbar slots and it'll go to element one. Okay, so now that we're in game and we go pick up these items, I can drag them down to item slot or hotbar slot one and three. Now if I hit three, you can see that object gets assigned. And if I hit one, it equips this object instead. And similarly, if I hit one again, it'll de-equip.